Does SpaceX need to equip landing legs on Starship, and how would this affect the Mechazilla robotic arm catching system? Let's delve into the details in today's episode of Elon Musk 365. Currently, SpaceX employs the industry's most advanced landing method, the tower-mounted robotic arm system, to catch Starship's rocket stages as they return. This system's advantage is clear, by allowing Starship to return directly to the launch pad, SpaceX significantly reduces turnaround time for repairs and reuse. With the Mechazilla catching system, Starship doesn't require landing legs, as Elon Musk has emphasized. This eliminates excess mass and complexity, enhancing overall performance. However, despite its many advantages, this design faces significant challenges in future missions, especially planetary landings on the Moon or Mars. On the Moon or Mars, Mechazilla's tower won't be available in initial missions. Starship must land entirely under its own power, but with a height of 50 meters, and possibly taller in future versions, maintaining stability on rugged terrain without landing legs is extremely challenging. The surfaces are littered with craters, large rocks and unpredictable terrain, raising the risk of tipping over. In the worst-case scenario, Starship could tilt and collapse, leading to mission failure and jeopardizing crew and cargo. Clearly, equipping landing legs is a necessary step to ensure safety in off-Earth missions. SpaceX's plan for global Starship transportation, Earth to Earth, also increases the need for landing legs. The U.S. Air Force recently supported the construction of a Starship landing site on Johnson Island to aid the Rocket Cargo Vanguard program, aimed at delivering military cargo anywhere in the world in under 90 minutes. However, the U.S. Air Force hasn't disclosed whether the landing site will feature a catching tower or just a landing area like Falcon 9. Without a tower, Starship would require landing legs for safe landings. SpaceX is also considering having Starship land on drone ships, similar to Falcon 9. Advantages include reducing risks to populated areas and launch sites, offering greater flexibility in landing locations, and allowing direct return trajectories, saving time. However, to land safely on unstable, floating platforms, Starship needs robust landing leg systems. Constructing a Mechazilla tower on a drone ship is highly complex and would compromise mobility. Therefore, equipping folding retractable landing legs like those on Falcon 9 is a practical solution. Development Timeline if SpaceX pursues this approach, design and production must commence promptly. The USAF is expected to release details about the landing site this month, followed by a public comment period of about a month. If all goes well, construction could begin as early as May or June. Given SpaceX's rapid infrastructure development pace, the landing site might be completed by late 2025 or early 2026. Consequently, Starship's landing legs should be developed and tested soon. Meanwhile, Artemis 3 missions are slated for 2027, with earlier uncrewed test landings. Thus, Starship prototypes with landing legs could debut later this year or early 2026. Landing legs, benefits and challenges. While beneficial, adding landing legs introduces challenges. Landing stability, even with legs, recent landers have experienced tilting or toppling. Starship size and weight make balancing more difficult, especially on the Moon and Mars. Durability. With landing masses up to 200 tons, including the spacecraft fuel and cargo, legs must be exceptionally sturdy to withstand multiple uses. Increased mass and complexity. Landing legs add weight and complexity, potentially affecting payload capacity. Additionally, if unprotected, they might burn up during atmospheric re-entry. A potential solution is designing folding landing legs that deploy during landing and retract during flight, akin to Falcon 9. SpaceX could also incorporate shock absorbers, hydraulic systems, or pneumatic pistons to enhance adaptability to various terrains. Do landing legs affect Mechazilla? The answer is likely no. Mechazilla remains the most efficient method for achieving high launch cadence and rapid reuse. SpaceX is expanding this system at both Starbase and Cape Canaveral, demonstrating a long-term commitment. Landing legs and Mechazilla are complementary, not competitive. Two Starship variants are expected, one optimized for Mechazilla capture, and another equipped with landing legs for lunar, Martian, or infrastructure-lacking locations. This strategy will make Starship the most versatile rocket system ever built, enabling SpaceX to tackle a broader array of missions. The Falcon family has succeeded with both fixed-site and drone ship landings. SpaceX has achieved over 420 landings, with some boosters reused more than 10 times, highlighting their rapid development and operational capability. Equipping Starship with landing legs will broaden its operational capabilities, from off-planet missions to global transport.
Combining precise mechazilla capture with traditional landing legs creates an unparalleled dual strategy in rocket reusability technology. This approach solidifies SpaceX's leadership in aerospace, setting new industry standards.